Hello, everyone. So once you have a user story before process completed, that's when you start creating the user story. We are going to go in detail about the user stories. But what is the process that you need to ensure after the user story is created? It, it becomes part of your backlog, backlog refinement where you go in and you groom those user stories with the development and QA team. Basically, that means that you discuss the user story with the developers and QAs. They try to understand what is it that you want them to develop and test. They ask their questions. Their questions can be in form of clarifications where you need to add some additional information on the user story. Or it could be in terms of conflicting information that is provided on user story so you can update it and hence a minimum viable user story is created that can be developed and tested as a standalone work. After the clarifications are given, the estimation of the user story is important. That estimates are given by the development and QA team. Estimates basically mean how long it's going to take to develop this user story and how long it's going to take to test this user story. Estimates help you to plan the timelines of the project. Prioritization of the user stories is next, where if you have a list of five user stories, you prioritize them to make the development team understand that which story is of higher importance so that they can pick it up first and the lower priority stories next. It also helps them understand the dependencies. If there is a user story that, that has a dependency on another user story, so we should be developing the parent user story first and then the dependent user stories later so that it does not create gaps in the development once the product or the user story is ready to be tested. Once those user stories are groomed, estimated, prioritized, they get added to the sprint. The work on the user story starts when the current sprint has that user story. So once the work starts on it, development team picks it up, assigns it to a developer. Developer completes it, assigns it to a QA team. QA team tests it, and then they say, OK, we are ready for it to share it with business. That's all about the process after user story creation. This is still not the process during the user story is in progress. So we are going to be talking about that next. Thank you.